Want to see a really thick milkshake? Look at that. Oh, baby. Okay, so. Mm, cold, hurdy, hurdy. Um, happy Solstice, happy Festivus. Happy day after the anniversary of Carl Sagan's death. I took that really hard. You know that? I did. And happy Chaco sitting on the pillow. So here's what came today. I knew this was coming. I don't know if I have her permission to say who it's from. Because I don't want you mooches bothering her. So look at that. Pepperoni. I can make homemade pizzas and put it on. Or chop it up and put it in soups and salads and stuff. Look at this. Uh, six cans of picnic shrimp. That could go on a pizza. That'd be awesome on a pizza. Or I could make some Alfredo sauce. I've got some cream in the freezer. I've got it marked now. And you know, um, melt butter in the pan, make a roux with flour, and then add the cream. The cream's gonna separate because it's frozen, but it'll be all right. And then this is one, two, three, four packages of not in front of the camera. Jack Link's prime rib beef tender cut. It's jerky and it's like, it's like Lincoln Logs. You gotta see this. It is, it's like, I could build a cabin in the woods with this stuff. Uh, I can get it open. La la la. Uh oh, got the cat excited. See, it's Lincoln Logs. Ooh, the dog's excited. Those have to be soaked or I won't be able to eat them. I know it. But they sure smell good. And they sure got the cat awake. And then here's... Uh, um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six cans of... Hormel turkey chili, no beans which I can eat with spaghetti with cheese melted on top. Or I can make like nachos if I had some chips. But actually my teeth hurt so bad, I probably wouldn't make it with chips. I might make it with tortillas. In fact, I might make it with homemade tortillas. So that came today. Yeah, I got the cat excited. And the ice cream is because, oh, and you gotta see this. <coughs> I'm really doing it now. Where did it go? Oh, see this? A very rare occurrence. I don't like this brand, but it's the cheapest one they have at that store. I got two packs of don't have to roll on myself cigarettes. Just because in the early morning or when I'm driving. When I'm driving, I don't like to use rollies because they tend to, the tobacco tends to fall out. I can't roll them tight enough. Also, early in the morning, I uh, I don't have the physical coordination. I always make my coffee the night before, so I make sure I have at least three cups in the morning, at least. So today I brewed a pot of coffee, and I also brewed my excellent iced tea. My excellent iced tea is really good Japanese green tea in a tea ball, really good Earl Grey in a tea ball, loose leaf, and stevia, this herb, it's uh, dried leaves of this plant that grows somewhere in South America. Um, for sweetener, it's really sweet, no calories. And then I add like two teaspoons of sugar just to round out the flavor. Because you know, anything that doesn't have sugar in it, always, sweetener always just feels a little missing. And then um, also I got these. The person who sent all the, all the food sent a whole case of these and look they're square and they're small and they fit in the door of my refrigerator in fact they're smaller than two liter bottles two liter bottles I have to take the tops off and burp them before they'll fit in the door of the refrigerator so I can fill these with my iced tea um it's really good water okay now why am I smoking cigarettes and drinking a milkshake because Somebody from very, very far away where it's very, very cold um, sent me an email just out of the blue. I hardly know this person. 
just recently subscribed to the person's channel. Hmm. Well, the person saw that nasty troll in the mask had left comments on one of my videos. And I, you know, I hardly ever cuss at people, but I did call him an asshole. I mean the troll, not this other guy. And the guy replied to him, you are an asshole. And blocked him from his channel. Before the comment had even posted, I got a private message from the guy. I don't know how he got my email address. I don't have a clue. He put $100 in my PayPal account. Cigarette and chocolate. Oh. Mm. So, I had lots of foods because I have canned pears in their own juice and canned pineapple in its own juice. And in the freezer, I have some strawberries that I froze last summer and some blueberries and blackberries that I froze last summer. And I've got plain old bags of frozen vegetables. I don't really like them, but if you move, mix them in with a bunch of other stuff, you really can't tell. I'd rather eat fresh stuff, you know. Mm. And I'm still working on that chicken. Damn, you should taste that chicken. Oh my gosh. And I soaked that, it's called tambouri, I think. Tambouri, tambouri. Anyway, it's kind of an oven. It's like a big giant clay pot. And you make like, burritos you make like you make them like this I mean tortillas you make the bread like this you know flat bread and it, you get this big um, pot clay jar really hot and then you slap them slap the bread up inside the jar up inside the, wait a minute my hand is up inside the jar it's a, it's bread from India I got a, I got like four packages of it on sale at the grocery store about two months ago had it frozen, thawed out a package of that, and it's just lightly, lightly garlic flavored, not real heavy and overwhelming. And that little surprise of garlic with the pineapple and the ginger and the masala seasoning and all, oh, and the sweet potatoes. So I soaked that bread in the juices, yeah, in the bottom of the pan. Oh, it's so much better than stuffing. So, uh, weasels asleep. The cats are all happy because everybody had chicken. Everybody had chicken. I mean, you know, necks and wings and backs and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it, the thighs are mine. They can have the drumsticks, but the thighs are mine. And mostly the breast. So, that's what's going on. Plenty of water. So, I haven't even been to the water store because it's been such bad weather. And I don't even think I have any left. I get gallon jugs for 25 cents. So what I'll do is next time I go to the water store, I'll fill up my gallon jugs and then I'll come home with a funnel and fill these back up because these fit in the kitchen better than the gallon jug. One of these is exactly a pot of coffee or a pot of tea. Perfect. So between all the purple fuzzy stuff and all the canned goods and the water, $100 is going to go toward gasoline because I'm going to go back to the next largest town. I'm going to go back to Albuquerque, but not right now. Mm. Anyway, after Christmas, they mark stuff down, some of it 75, 90% off. And it's um, really useful stuff. And so, and especially like food and chocolate. I can get marked down chocolate. It's perfectly good chocolate. They just put a stupid wrapper on it that looks Christmassy. And so they discount it really deep. Maybe I'll go walk with and get some one pound boxes of Russell Stover's. That's my favorite box of chocolates, chocolates. And what? I know I sound like first Gump. Mm -hmm. And I do that every time there's a holiday where they sell candies, Easter, Halloween, Valentine's. After the holiday is over, I get the candy really cheap. And then I put it in my jar. This is all that, can you see it? Kinda. This is all that's left from Halloween. These are really good. This is something new. 
This is a little tiny Milky Way. I wish I made them in regular size. Where is it? A oh, little tiny Milky Way. Itty bitty little. Milky Ways are easy because you don't have any nuts and stuff in them. I can eat them. But it's apple caramel flavor. Ooh. So I'm all excited because I got a bunch of stuff that I wasn't expecting and some of it that I was. And I'm drinking a milkshake. I thought, you know, I could go to Mickey D's and get a milkshake. And I thought, you know, every time I go to Mickey D's, I get the shits. Besides, Mickey D's is an evil place, right? I have milk here. All I need is the ice cream. I got real Briar's ice cream that's got real strawberries, real vanilla, and very, very chocolate. I got um, Neapolitan, you know, stripe, stripe, stripe. And I just shaved a bunch off with a spoon. Pretty much filled up the glass, and the milk was just an excuse to soften it up. What a treat. So I'll be buying some gas with that $100. Mm. Looking for markdown stuff. I'll be saving some of it because, you know, Itty Bitty Kitty Committee, she's going to reach her womanhood one day, and she's going to need her womanhood removed. Because I'm not going to have a bunch of tomcats coming over here pissing all over the place, tearing her up, and a bunch of little mute kittens because she's too young to have babies and her gets sick. That happened to Osa. Osa got pregnant when she was too young. She looked so scrawny and ratty. As soon as she got spayed, man, Osa fluffed right up. Well, this video is 11 minutes long. I'm not allowed to have 11 minute videos. So, I'll see you in the funny papers. Ow. So, thank you. Thank you very much. It was a real nice treat. I don't have to worry about you know, I can save most of my food stamps next month because I've got all this canned meat here. Yep, I can start, stock, start stockpiling my food stamps. Except that I probably will indulge myself and get some fresh fruits and vegetables because that's a real treat.